So we have managed to create uh, the sign.raw file, which is here. Let's try and open that. Well, it says, hey, you know, cannot be displayed. Fine, let's choose something. So essentially, there's nothing readable here. And that's because it's a, it's a binary file. And we won't be able to play this file uh, on the cloud in code spaces. So what we need to do is download this. And there is a software that we'll need to um, you know, import and play this file in. And that software is called uh, Audacity. Right? So go to Audacity here and then download it for your, um, you know, whatever operating system you're on. And, uh, well, and then install it, obviously. And once you have that software, well, then things become interesting. So let me go ahead and uh, right click the sign.raw file and then hit the download button. And uh, it is downloaded. So I'll open up the downloads directory. So let me pull that. Right. So the file is available here. Now, what I'll do is I'll open Audacity. And uh, once I have opened it, what I need to do is go to file, go to import, and import raw data. Now, again, the file we created was just a binary file with the samples uh, populated in them, and that's the raw data. We did not add any information about what the encoding scheme is, uh, you know, what the sampling rate is, none of that. So, files like MP3, Wave, and others, uh, they actually have. Um, some metadata before the actual samples, much like the BMP file that we had seen uh, way in the starting of uh, the course. So we are now going to then import the raw data and it shows up and then I go to download and then import um, the sign.raw. Now what we have on the screen is it is asking us, hey, how am I supposed to interpret this file? So we are saying, hey, the signed 16 bit, well, yeah, we did write signed 16 bits. The sample is a signed 16 bit, each of those. Um, you know, byte order, the Indianness, we just let it be at default. Um, the channel is one channel. Again, that's the default. If you notice here, we are specifying the sample rate. And if I click here, there are these different sample rates available. So what you can do now is change the sample rate generate the file, download it, and then select that different, sound, uh, different sample rate and see if the tone is heard. All right, so um, 44,100 is the sample rate we had used, and then I go ahead and do an import. So it has obviously imported something. Let me bring this right here. Okay, so now the other interesting thing, which is if we zoom this timeline, you'll slowly see something like a sine wave appear. So give it a moment. Yes, you see. So definitely the samples that we wrote were sine wave like. Together they were like points on the sine curve. Okay, that's one. But the second thing, uh, notice every once in a while I was mentioning that hey, you know, these are the like we are going to sample the points and it's not going to be a continuous wave. So eff effectively we'll end up having something like so. And the numbers, um, well, okay, let me just go ahead and yeah, something like so, right? So it's not continuous, it's discrete, so to speak, and it's separated by certain time duration, which is one by. 44100. Okay, now you can confirm all of that and I'll leave all of that as a uh, exercise and exploration for you. But if we zoom this in further, right, it looks like a nice sine wave and wait until you start to see the samples. So do you see this? It actually is just a sample of a value uh, that maps onto the sine curve. It's not a continuous curve, it's just the samples. Okay, perfect. And now let me go ahead and then uh, see if the system sound can be recorded. So just give me a moment and um, let, let's see. Uh, hopefully, you know, system sound gets recorded. So 
um, you can reduce your um, the, the speaker sound because this is going to be like irritating for some people. It can be irritating. So I'll then just simply go ahead and play it. Did you hear that? So in case you happen to hear that, uh, so that was the tone that we hand coded, generated the samples, wrote in a file, and then later imported that file in Audacity and kind of uh, you know, played it. You can go ahead and do all sorts of investigation on this, you know, change the sample rate, uh, mix two different uh, sine waves of different frequencies together, see what the curve looks like. So hopefully with all of this, you also now are starting to get the hang of that C is really, really raw power. And uh, there's so much that can be done with C. You can create images, you can combine images and actually create uh, a video out of them and then later play that video. So what you have to do is go looking for the file formats, understand them and simply write in the memory the right values so that uh, the player or whoever is going to consume that file uh, can interpret it uh, in, in the intended form. And yeah, so this was end of our project. What you can do is take a look at the project description, uh, the project description file, and towards the end, so there are certain suggestions as to how you can extend it. So, you know, go ahead and try that out. So with this, our project is complete, and I'll see you in the next one.